Focused on the Olympic Games and the medal count, we want to introduce you to a local double gold medalist. Angie Maggio couldn't do what she does without a special gift from a total stranger. We're just warming up. <laughs> Tennis is something new for Amy Maggio. That was very athletic. Distance was more her game. I love to run. Five years ago, she completed her first marathon. Then her life changed. Well, my doctor called me and said, you need to head straight to Tulane um, and in case you need a liver transplant. Amy had contracted hepatitis A from something she ate. After one day in the hospital, she was mostly unconscious. Her liver had stopped working. This can't be real. Her husband, Blake, spent six days at her bedside praying. It's so hard to pray for someone to die to save someone else's life. So the best I could do is pray for God's will to happen. I, I was there. I was, I was dying. And then someone died for me to live. Today, Amy is back in the game, thanks to a new liver from a woman in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, that was in. Good shot. I was given a gift, and I do everything I can to honor that gift. I get up every morning, and I run with my running group. I started playing tennis. I try to stay as active and healthy as I can to protect the special gift that I was given. Earlier this month, Amy joined hundreds of organ recipients and donors in Birmingham, Alabama, to celebrate that gift and compete in the transplant games. She came back with two gold medals and two silvers. But that wasn't really the point. It wasn't about me. I mean, every, every from the 5K, from me getting dressed, every, everything that I did that weekend was for her, to honor her. Having my wife back is probably the best gift that I could ever have, because I never thought I'd have her back. I know I'm here for a purpose, and I just hope it's to raise awareness for organ donation. Um, it's helped me so much. I'm here because of that.